Yo, what up? It's your boy. I know you've been looking for some new clothes. Boom! Guess what? We got them. Amanda Flag, the best t-shirt designer in the fucking world, made these shirts. We got an orange one that looks tight like you're a 70s guy. We got a pink one. That's the one I'm gonna cop. We took that same shit, put it on a cup. Look at the back side of the cup. Look what that shit says. Thai boys take their time. It's a good ass coffee cup. It's a good ass shirt. The pink shirt is especially tight. Links are in the description. Buy this merch. I'm so goddamn excited. Peace out. Enjoy this episode. I love you. Goodbye. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. And, and, and. You gotta buy it right now. Because if you don't, it's gonna be gone forever. Because it's for a limited time only. So buy it by the end of the goddamn month. Or you're not gonna fucking buy this dope ass shit. Peace out. Rumpy rumpus boys. Rumpy buns. What is this level about? Rumpies. Okay, so this level is called Ropey Rumpus in English. Yeah. In German, it is called Ropey Rumpus. In French, it is called Confused Ropes. The okay. French going very literal this time around. Spanish. Shy Rumpus. I don't know about you, but Ropey and shy don't sound like two synonyms. They could be. Don't think they are. Japanese roar on the rope. Seems a little bit more threatening. Okay, hold on. Under the letter K, the Kongs will see a TNT barrel. They yeah. should carry this barrel down the area, jumping to the right and avoiding many buzzes. They will land on a small platform on one side. Yep, there it is. Great. Good job. Find the coin. Nice. Oh. Oh. That was very risky. Clean beans. Clean, Clean beans. beans. So the DK coin is before the letter N, but the next bonus barrel is after the letter N. A little before the letter N, the Kongs will move to the left across a tightrope, hopping over three green buzzes. If you drop down... Wait, wait till we get there. Before the N, if you drop, just drop down before the N, and okay. you will find the coin. I think that's the vibe. I like the background art in this level. Yeah, it's cool. It's very, I like the colors in general. They're very, uh, 90s. I just like the tall ass pillars. You like the pillars? They're sick, yeah. That you're like in a land of pillars. Pillar. It's like Avatar. Yeah. Chad, do you like the movie Avatar? Yeah. Big fan? Uh, I don't know how big a fan I am, but you, I like, you, like it. Are you like bitterly liking it? Like, are you aware of the hate? And you're like, I like it anyway. I think so. Fuck. That guitar, dude. That guitar sample sounds so raw. Shit, dude, that's tough. Why could you just not do that? Well, I don't know. We don't know. We don't know what led where, honestly. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> ha! Oh. Ah! Oh. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Ah! Well, that sucks. It's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. These bees look like, like, road choppers to me. They look like dickheads to me. I think that's the idea, Ted. Is it really? Look at their get. Look at their like. They got like hot rod vibes. Yeah. Which they do not have in the other games. Yeah, this is a perp that was a purposeful choice. I think. You don't know. I don't know if this is the place, but it could be. We talked about it on the first episode. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that because I watch all the Beard Bros all the time. You watch every episode of he, Beard Bros? He, no, he doesn't. What's your favorite one? Uh, I like the Pokemon ones a lot. Oh yeah, when did you watch it? When did it last air? I li I literally watched a shit ton of Beard Bros when I was sick. Really? You just I just like, had it running because, like, if I passed it. out for a little bit, I'd be like, "Great." Spent it with your favorite. 
It was comforting. I watched uh, Jerry Seinfeld take Christoph Waltz to the IHOP in Torrance. In Comedians really? and Cars Getting Coffee. I was like, why the fuck are you there? That's next to my Chipotle. In Torrance? The one right oh, there. Shit. No joke. Like, the one by Chipotle. Brand deal? I don't know if, like, of all the IHOPs that you could go to, like, the one in Torrance is the one that needs the brand deal. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, there has to be a... What's over here? Anything? It's just it's just bananas. I don't know. It's trying to get more people to that specific location. Fuck. No, I I don't think they were like come to the IHOP in Torrance specifically. But what I'm saying is the one in Torrance is not like the A best looking spot. Yeah, it's not right. like the best looking IHOP in the world. Yo, bonus barrel. Okay. So you want to be before the end is where you want to be. A little before the end, you're going to be moving to the left across the tightrope. Tight. Something's in my eye, dude. Is it your pupil? Is it my pupil? Great joke, Ted. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst. Are we seeing the end here? I think this is it. Go down. What? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, kid, I'm a computer. Stop all the downloading. I don't know, man. I don't know nothing about no computer. Oh, shit. Just got my mom to put a couple games on it. There's the end. Okay. Well, after the end, the heroes will find Perry, the parallel bird, in its crate. Once they free the cr I am so sorry. There is, like, something in my eye, and it is, like, fucking my shit up. All right, well, I found the Perry. Okay. Okay, hold up. Once they free the creature, they should guide it to the no animal sign, which will turn the bird into a bonus barrel. Weird. Okay. Just be gentle. Just be gentle. Get that banjo. There it is. All right, now comes the scary part. I think I just crammed my own hair inside of my fucking... Got it. There we go. <coughs> King. I think I just mashed my own hair. 15 bananas. Here we go. This one wasn't that bad, to be honest. I always hate the things that you're like trying to get out and just lodging them deeper. You're yeah. Like, Fuck! Yeah. That's like the story of like anything like ash related or hair related. Yeah. I have it big in my ears. Shit. Oh, baby. Clean. Clean dog. I think that's done, the stage. Yeah, that's it. So now we fight the boss. <laughs> How are we on time? Solid? We're like at 10 minutes or so? Less. Where's less? Beautiful. Love Barbo's to see it. barrier? Love to see it. Barbosa's Barrier. Barbosa's? Right. Barbosa's Barrier. Okay, so check this out. This thing is from Donkey Kong Country 3, and it's from Donkey Kong Land 3, but it got changed to a croctopus in the Game Boy Advance version for some reason. How do I kill this thing? That is a great question. It's a good kush. That's a good kush. Just a good kush. Okay. <sighs> Uh, once the balls out of the are out of the way, you can you can smack the body. The balls? <laughs> what yeah, balls? Those. I've got big balls. She's got big balls. What? Smash him. Smash that like button. Just smash, smash these this? lurchins into the spike balls, protecting. <coughs> I see. Why does it have a picture? Oh, that was- I see. I understand what's happening now. I have to attack when they're- oh, I hate this. I have to attack while they're open. Yeah. And knock them into this fucker. Yeah. Just get good. And then- it, it, That's basically the- that's basically the mechanic the whole time, is just knocking these guys around and, and bouncing them into those other ones. <laughs> the 
This is so weird. Can't you just go on the other side and hit no, it? No, because he's moving it. Oh, he puts it on the other side, really? Right, because I, I initially moved to the other side, and he, he moved the location of it. Shoutouts to his fucking awful face. <laughs> One down, baby. Alright, now it goes down, and now it's like homing missiles, but it's the same shit. Homing missiles? Oh, yeah. Can I hurt them? No, you want to lure them. Oh. What? Oh, the ocean works. Oh, shit. Yeah. So I want to lure them into what? See how they, like, light up and flash? They need to be pointing at the, like, those barriers next to Barbos. Oh, fuck. That's so hard. Yeah. I think you got it, maybe? Oh, so... Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, so it's pretty loose. So you just go over and quick, and then, yeah. No problem. Clean, boys. Oh, Fuck. shit. Oh, shit. I did it too even. Damn. Fuck. Boom. How many more hits does this thing have? Who knows? Oh, fuck! This boss sucks! Oh my god. Is it just open? Oh! Wow. I didn't know! <laughs> How was I supposed to know? You just gotta, like, hit it at that point. Fuck! Do-do-do-do. Clean. Dude, that was clean. Are these real things? Sea urchins? No. Do they do this? No. No. They don't. Okay. They taste good, though. They're a delicacy, some might say. <laughs> what? Nice. Bitch. Bitch. Alright, so it goes down, you do the homing missile thing, then you go down, then you just, like, go for it. But dodge the spikes. It's cool that there's a boss fight as on guard. Come on with wow. that shit. Wow, didn't realize it was that much of a hitbox situation. One down. Aw oh, yeah, baby. Aw oh, yeah, that's right in the money. Ooh. Okay. He looks like a blowfish. Alright, so just now just get in there. Alright. Fuck! Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's the last stage. It's just like hitting that a few times. Pretty crazy. But not too bad. Like, now we see... It's just like a journey of discovering how to actually beat the boss, which, you know, no big deal. No big mm doochie. Mm Stanley. Mm -doochie. Toochie gang, toochie gang, toochie gang. Fuck! This sucks. Keep it chill, this. keep it chill, keep it chill. I hate this fight. It's not I that bad. It's just annoying. I just have to do it without getting hit. <laughs> I know, I know, it's annoying. Uh, it's a dumb complaint. I sound like an idiot. Up and over. Clean boys. All right, up and over. Clean boys. Dirty I need, boy. I need to go safe. We dirty boys. I need to go safe. You're right. I have not You're saved. If I right. die right now, what if you just? I have to redo what if you just, so many stages. What if you just? Don't call me a safe scum, you fucking know you Toby. Want to. What are you doing over there? Uh, Michael, I think you could safe scum and it'd be a lot easier on everybody. <laughs> this is why I hate this. you, Toby. <laughs> hey, Michael. I don't think that's really necessary. Comment Toby. To I just think it. Just Toby. Be a lot better. Just stop. <laughs> just you know what's that. better than safe scumming? 
your divorce, Toby. I can see you and I can hear you talking, but it's not loud enough. Like you're you're talking so like like. Oh, no. That's how, that's how I see him. <laughs> that's what he says. He sounds just like that. I, I half the time I literally don't hear what he says. That's Tough. the point of Toby. It's so funny. There's 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 I don't know what episode there is. One of my favorite episodes is uh Michael is forced to do community service and he has to talk to Toby as his as his person. Right. And so Toby forces Michael to like be his therapist for the day. Like and, listen to all his problems. Yeah. And <laughs> Like Michael gets like Michael surprisingly has a great day because of it, but gets fucking furious because he realizes that Toby tricked him to like actually doing the community service. Right. And so like it just resets their relationship. Like it seems like this episode's going to fix their relationship. The best part is is that uh <laughs> when Michael's are like in the seasons that uh you know Michael Scott's around, um Fucking uh, everyone loves Toby, and then when he's not around anymore, everyone fucking hates Toby again. It's true. What he leaves? I'm sorry. No. Who? Yeah. Who leaves? Michael Scott. Yeah. Maybe. Why? Uh, what's his name's contract ran out, and he didn't renew. Mm. I wouldn't have either, to be honest. By the time he was done with that show, he got so famous. Yeah. They 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 needed him. They needed him to. Like, it would have been too, way too expensive to keep up. Gotcha. Sorry, Ted, I didn't mean to ruin it for you. I mean, I mean it's not. To be fair, to be fair, me. to be fair, <laughs> like it's also not central to the plot. He's not also better. he's also around for a very very long time. Yeah. yeah, like it's like it's only one or two seasons where it's like, oh, he's not here. And so. what they do instead of Michael Scott, very interesting. Okay. I actually like it. I I, after, I don't after, dislike after, it. I don't dislike the it. It's old, just there's some weird people that the, get Yeah. Yeah, the last season of The Office is definitely one of the most trying for the, everyone involved. I just don't get why he's not fired. <laughs> Cuz he's so bad at his job. Have you ever been to reality, Ted? Yeah, that's true. Do you find that most people that you see are qualified for their jobs? I guess here, yes. Here? Yeah. Fuck, this is so hard. <clears throat> but Red Lobster, not so much. Oh, oh Chihuahua! Are, are we good on time? Are, are we good on time or? Oh, uh, yeah, three minutes left. Yeah, I mean, you could try one more time to beat this boss. I think I'll you give could it do a it. shot. Yeah. Ooh, he's gonna feel that in the morning. Ooh, that baby's dead. <laughs> that baby drowned in there. You really dropped the ball on this one, Alex. That baby died in there, and its sister, not that old. <laughs> not coming back for a second season. I mean, they share the crib, you guys. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's watching these guys? <laughs> Yikes. The funny thing about uh, Yikes. about The Office 2 is that as they get towards the later half of the seasons in the show, uh, eventually... Uh, you you see NBC's influence of just bringing in stars from their previous shows in. Yeah, like suddenly it's like, oh, people from Chuck are on this show now, and people from yeah. from Heroes are on this show now. It's funny, also like the guest directors that they bring in are like all people that ended up like doing shit with NBC. Yeah, there's some crazy people who guest directed episodes of The Office. But you know what's crazy is that Greg Greg Daniels is the guy who like was like the the force behind the American Office. Yeah. Same guy behind like King of the Hill. Yeah. Which is literally one of my favorite cartoons ever. So fucking funny. It always seems like a show that wouldn't be entertaining. Kids but it just is. Kids don't like it. Kids get bummed out by it like when it comes on TV. It's because like, it's a very adult show. It's like not like you just have to be. It's not like Family Guy or, or South Park, but it like yeah. it. It requires a certain. Uh, oh, fuck me, man. Uh, even more so than The Simpsons, right? Because I would say like there's almost as many like British Simpsons fans as there are American ones at this point. 
you know? Like, Fuck. Next time I'll be Rose, we hopefully beat this yeah. boss. Simpsons reaches across a lot of barriers where I think King of the Hill, you really have to be American to like fully appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. It. It's so funny. Yeah. Uh, all right. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. We are the best. I feel good. Let's go. I'm feeling great. I'm at the opposite of that. I want chocolate.